to Debbie Deuce Homesteading. Today's an exciting day. We are going to hatch out eggs. Um, for a friend, I'm doing this uh, for a friend. She lost her whole flock a couple days ago to a predator and my heart went out to her. So we're going to hatch out two dozen she would like to have 12 hens, um, so we'll see what we get. I know it's a, you get what you get, you get more roosters, and she understands that. So, we're going to take you on our journey on hatching out eggs. This is day one. I got some eggs. These are just laid today. You would like what you like to do is when you collect your eggs you want clean dried eggs nothing on them you do not want to wash them and when you uh, get them out of your nesting boxes you see this point right here in this round you want to put the pointy end down in your carton I already have one dozen in there. I just wanted to show you how I put them in there. I do have an egg turner. If you do not know what an egg turner is, I'll show you. You lift this up. And you see there's eggs in there. And you put the pointy end down. This egg turner will move them side to side every two hours, just like a hen, a mother hen does. So, let me hurry up and put these in here because this machine will beep and it gets annoying. So, once I put them in there, okay, they're all in there. Let me show you real quick. They're all in there. And like I said, um, I will film um, uh, when I candle them and tell you how many chicks we actually have for her. Um, I got this machine at Walmart. Um, it does have another one, so I could do probably about 96. This is a large um Incubator, I just uh, want to let you know, I only did this one time. Uh, this is my second time uh, hatching out eggs. And I'm so glad that I get to do this for my friend. Um, like I said, my heart just went out to her. She lost her whole flock. Um, if I could pay it forward, I'm the type that would do that. So, we'll take you on our journey. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, you see that middle whale right there? I have it filled with water. For the humidity, this is what the humidity is. And this is what the temperature. I know the temperature is supposed to be 35.5, I believe. But it's okay, it's a little warm today. But it has to be above 50. If it's above 50, you're good. But when it's when it when we go down to lockdown, this has to go up. Uh, the humidity, the last three days of lockdown, because it softens the shell so the chicks can get out. And lockdown means you cannot open up your incubator because it will shrink wrap the chicks in there. So, lockdown means you cannot open that. Hi. We're on day 18. Um, I am going to, uh, I filled up all my little squares here with water, warm water. And I wanted to show you guys, since I didn't get a chance when I candled them, I am sorry I forgot to film it. I'm going to film it for you guys. Um, they are a little bigger. Um, but on day 18, 
This is what they look like. Did you see that? I don't know if my camera's picking it up. See them veins? So I'm going to hurry up and put them in here in my incubator. I'm going to lay them down. I already turned the um, egg turner. Um, I took that out, unplugged it. And then hopefully, well, I'll come back and show you. And they hatch. Hi, this is day 20 and they're starting to pip. That means the eggs are starting to crack. I don't know if you guys can see in there because it's so humid in there. Um, you want it humid in there because it's easier for them to break out of the shell. So if your, your uh, incubator looks like this on lockdown, that means it's really good. Um, and hopefully We'll have baby chicks pretty soon. See, they're coming out. If you listen very close, you can hear the chirp. That one right there is coming out. Come on out, little one. One little one, push out. Sorry, my dogs are fighting. Get 
Come on, little one. Push. Come on, little one. He or she is determined to get out of that little egg.
I think here it comes. Number one, get in the world. First baby. Come on. Push. Here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, little miss. Here it goes. Chewbacca is a daddy.
hard pushing out of an egg when you're that small. And it's born. We do not open up the incubator because it's wet. You have to wait till the other ones hatch. And that one will dry off. You can leave them in here up to three days because they absorb the yolk. You do not want to open it because the ones are hatching will shrink wrap and it will kill your baby chicks. Hi, we got a lot of chirping going on in here. You can't really see them because it's so humid humidity in there. But I'm going to take some out and put them in the brooder. Look at all their little smiley faces. Got a black one. These are all mixed breed. Another black one. Little tiny little ones. The black ones are really small. Let's move them down to the brooder. When you take your chicks out, you gotta dip their beaks in the water so they know where the water is. Just take their little head and dip them down in there.
And you're probably saying, yay, more room. <laughs> you're going right towards that light. Uh-huh. Ooh, little one. No, he's doing a little wiggle. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. There they are. If you're wondering what this is, this is my temperature. So I know if it's too hot or too cold, you want your heat on one side and your food and water on the other side. So they, if they're too hot, they can move out of the heat. You want to pick in here. This is what a mama chick would do. Okay. And eating all that yummy stuff up. And when one of them does it, they usually all follow suit. Mm-hmm.